bond seems very uniquely human. Respecting one another and not judging one another. It's a very personal attribute as well, and right? it goes to um, how we feel about ourselves. We've always wanted to do this study since the publication of our first randomized control trial, which showed really clearly that people were relating to Wobot as if Wobot was like a person and they were using interpersonal terms and they were showing an affection um, for this entity that talked to them every day. And so we thought there's something really unique happening here that could have particular significance in the context of mental health. And we've always wanted uh, to, to look closely at the idea of Working Alliance. Working Alliance refers to the therapeutic bond between the patient um, or client and the therapist. We found a few things. The first was that Wobot appears to develop a rapport with users that is similar to that kind of rapport that we see in traditional human delivered treatment. The second finding is that Wobot seems to establish this bond or users feel this bond with Wobot in as early as three days. And the third thing we found was that when we looked at scores from a group of people talking to Wobot eight weeks later, the scores are almost identical. So it suggests that this rapport holds steady over several weeks. We've always known that Wobot is creating this very magical almost relationship with its users. What's unprecedented here is just how quickly people are going into that trust state and that mutual respect. And it's really meaningful because it means that people can get to work and do some really hard therapeutic work really quickly. I hope that people can look beyond the actual findings and ask why. Because it's our hypothesis that if this really comes down to really good design, that transparency and trust and mutual respect are created because they are obvious in the ways in which Wobot is interacting with people. And so it's not just that this is where technology is right now, it actually comes down to the nuance of how this technology is built. I think now that we're able to show that we really can establish a therapeutic bond using just an automated relational agent, it means that maybe we can get better outcomes in some of these purely automated, purely self-directed approaches. And that's really significant because it's, it makes high quality services much more scalable. I think technology needs to do a better job of helping us be more human. And I think this is one step in the right direction. Um, it's not about replacing us, but it's about finding ways to be genuinely assistive, genuinely helpful, and just genuinely a bit more compassionate.